taking down one of the best cover two beaters in Madden 22. We're going to show you how to also use it to be able to beat cover three. And again, like I said, it's just one of the best concepts in this game. And it comes through set of the shotgun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you've not picked up my gun bunch offensive ebook yet, I'd really encourage you if you want to get the full offensive ebook, there's a link in the description that you can click on. It'll take you over to my Patreon page where you can get the full gun bunch offensive ebook for just 10 bucks. It breaks down the bunch from all of the popular playbooks and really kind of shows you why this has been a top tier offense all season. It's really been a uh, top tier offense since I've been playing Madden, since Madden 2011. Uh, this has been a very effective money offense. So anyways, if you want to get the full ebook and learn the ins and outs of this playbook, I really encourage you to check out the Patreon. It's only $10 and there's a link in the description that you can click on that will take you over to check it out. So the play we're talking about today is one of the better bombs in bunch. We're going to show it against cover two. And you can also, there's a there's a way to throw this against cover three as well. But the play is bunch trail. And it's in the Washington football team playbook. It's in other playbooks too. But it's mainly, uh, you know, in, in the Washington playbook. So what we're going to do here with this concept is we are just, I mean, really there's nothing, you don't have to do anything to beat cover two. So like, if, if they're in cover four, um, you'll see here, cover four can kind of be a thing, but I'll show you how to beat cover two and cover three. Now, cover four is, you know, kind of a defense, honestly, in this year's game. I mean, you just take the underneath. The under, everything underneath is wide open against cover four this year. But anyways, here's cover two. So what you'll see is this is gonna split the cover two safeties, and the deep halves in this year's game are just really not good against post routes. They're just really not. So literally just snap the ball and it will beat cover two. So that's it. Um, <laughs> and real simple. Uh, let me show it to you um, from 3-5 wide. And I'll show you what they have to do to stop it. So again, all I have to do is snap this ball. And what you'll see is that the skinny post, once he crosses the face to that safety, is going to beat the cover two defense over the middle of the field. Okay. Now. Let's say that you're watching this and you're like, eh, all right, that's one thing, but I already know what they're going to do. They're going to put their middle linebacker in a middle third, and then they're going to play it like this. Okay, so I'll show you what this looks like. So now the middle linebacker is going to drift back, and what you'll see is he kind of guards it. But maybe what you didn't see was something that I think is really important. In this year's game, there is a window in which you can really mess with the cover too. So I'm going to spy my line just to kind of show you the route. And don't worry about any of the routes. So again, we're just looking at the post route right now. And what you'll see here is if I throw it, once he crosses the middle right there, you see that there's a window that I can throw it over the cover, the cover two, even with a middle third. Now that begs the question, well, how does this play work against cover three? Can it be cover three? Again, same basic idea here. I'm gonna go ahead and press and then just manually back that guy on the left off. So if I don't have to make any adjustments, you'll see here, pass lead inside, and it beats cover three. See how the middle third defender just kind of like drifts back and really doesn't defend him um, in any really effective way. Now, let's go to the Mike Blitz three, one of the most popular defenses in this game. So this is one of the most popular defenses in the game. And again, what you'll see here is now the safety is going to roll into him. But if I pass lead it to the right, you're going to see once he crosses that safety, you see how good this is. Now, I want to really quickly make a just a little bit of a disclaimer with this play. If I was to run the traditional gun bunch um, without a skinny post here. So let's say I have a hot route master and I put a hot route master skinny post out here. I want you to notice something really imperative. You're gonna see that if I'm running cover three, this post is still open, but it's not as open. You see there's a little bit more compression on the play. And also, you'll also notice that it will actually stop running a little bit more so than you might expect. Now, the last coverage that I wanna show you is a deep path cover three. What I mean by a deep path cover three I just put my outside corners this is also known as a cover three invert um, I just put my outside corners in deep halves as opposed to um, outside thirds and so what you'll see with these deep half zones is it still is 
was able to throw. Now it's a little bit tighter of a window, and I do I don't want to I don't want to not talk about that. So let's talk about that for just a second here. So how do you throw this with two deep halves on the field? This also is back to that cover two conversation of if they put those guys into a cover two defense. So again, we think right about here, passing outside. And notice that that deep half on the right actually was able to play that route. Now, we also know that a Madden hash marks can certainly change things. So let's just move the ball to the other side of the field. So this is if we have our bunch to the short side um, of the field. And again, we'll put those two deep halves on here. And I want you to see if there's any difference in how the defense plays this. Again, this is just a simple post. We go the backside corner route. But what you'll notice is that that deep half does not play it with our bunch to the short side. It's actually really interesting because um, most of the time, bomb plays work better coming from the wide side. But now let's go back to the cover two formula and see if this will bomb this as well. So again, we're just running this play stock. No adjustments. We're just calling it. And again here, passing that to the right. You see that it's a little bit more of a tighter net or a tighter window, but it can still bomb this, and I'll show you what I'm getting at here. So again, I'm gonna put my linebacker in real third. The deep half actually gets pulled significantly better. Now, there's multiple explanations as to why that can be the case. It's not just the fact that you know we're on this side of the field. But notice here the middle third actually runs with this a lot better. So what if there was a way to get to basically kill two birds with one stone because we know that the cover three is easier to beat on the short side of the field but the cover two is easier to beat on the wide side well now you have to ask yourself the question why is it that zones are getting pulled so what we're going to do is just a simple flood concept to the right and we're going to actually run a wheel to the running back so we're just going to put a flat out there to godwin we've got bernard on a fade and we got a corner route the only reason I want to do this is I want you to watch this cover two middle third. This middle third from the linebacker, when he drifts back, you'll see here now he's going to more fully go back as opposed to sit underneath it. And then once I cross his face, I don't know why I'm getting under pressure in this, but we'll show it to you. We're going to spy everybody this time just to show you this concept. But as you can see, it's definitely not as good against cover three to this side. So now let's come back to the short side and talk a little bit about how we can manipulate a deep half on the short side of the field. So one of the things that I think is actually a really good route to pull a deep half is a slant route. I think slant routes are really good. And then of course, if you wanted to put the running back on a flat or an out and then block your tight end. Now you have really good pass protection and you have a pretty decent chance to be able to pull a deep half. So you see here, now we've created kind of a little bit of more of a concept. You might consider smart rounding the corner so it goes a little bit deeper. And what you'll see here, as long as I have some time, I'm going to be able to absolutely shred that deep half up the seat, up right in that little pocket. Now, another thing that we could do if we wanted to is we could run a motion slant with a flat um, and a wheel. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick and basically take away the corner route. So what that would look like would basically be we would take the tight end, we'd block him, we'd put the running back on a whatever we want him on, and then we would just motion Godwin or Miller and do something like this. This is not a bad concept by any means. And what you'll see is a slant this year. These slant routes really pull zones well. And as you can see, this now cooks that coverage and no longer can take us, take us out. So those are some different ways that you can attack uh, cover three, cover two with the bunch trail. I think the bunch trail is one of the best plays in this game. Um, I would really encourage you to you know, test out this setup right here. I think that this setup is actually really good. And then maybe just do a little motion. Um, and what you'll see here, just a little baby motion. And as you can see, see how the post just runs so much more on this hash mark than it does on the other side. I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, again, this is probably the best bomb in the game. Not the best bomb in the game, but one of the better bombs in the game. These post routes this year are so lethal. And I'll just leave you with this. If you're going to run this uh, bunch stuff, you really need to get into the weeds, I think, and learn it in and out. So if you want to learn everything about the bunch offense, make sure you get my bunch offensive ebook. 
it's only ten dollars there's a link in the, in the description that you can sign up for it and uh, like I said we break down pretty much every bunch it's not just one formations bunch it's actually step by step what are all of the bunch concepts not just what's the Carolina but what's Carolina what's Washington what's Seattle what's you know New York Giants what is everything that we can do for bunch and into an ebook for you so if you want to check that out link is in the description below thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time